Okay, so now I can manipulate the probe. So can you explain us how do you do the real transesophageal echo examination? What do we have to do first and what are the steps that yeah. we follow? So the question is, should we follow any order or maybe we should do it randomly? Yes. I've seen many people doing transesophageal echoes and some people do it, you know, uh, by random order. So they just insert somewhere, they see some valve, okay, so they, they move, they, then they jump to another valve, then, then they, they push, they pull, they bend, and they don't really know what they are, so where they are in the given moment. Your so, recommendation is less movement. Yes, than other, yes? less movements. I sh I've shown you the possible complications. We should not move too much in the esophagus. So uh, I would recommend an order which, which is very ergonomic, very fast, and lets you go from, from one view to another, step by step, very easily, quickly, without much harm to the patient. So what normally I would recommend would be to start with the zero degree view at the top of the, uh, of the visible area, let's say, so in the upper, upper esophageal. Mm -hmm. So keep the probe and I will let you know what to do next. And now, uh, first of all, uh, you have to learn that if you have zero degree view, then uh, your rotation translates 100% to the rotation of the object on the plane, right? So it's very easy to position some element on the center of the, of the uh, sector, right? And the advantage of it is that uh, you remember that uh, the sector rotates uh, um, on the axis which is uh, located exactly at the center. So then if you put the aorta, for example, in the center, and now you change the angle to 90 degrees, I will do it quickly for you with the knob, you see the long longitudinal view of the aorta immediately, right? If you have longitudinal view of the aorta and you put it in the center, then if you go back to zero, you will see short axis view of the aorta. So this is very important to understand, right? So for example, if you now move the superior vena cava, which, uh, which is this one here, to the center, Try to do it. Okay. And now change the angle to 90, keeping, keeping the uh, cava in the, in the center, 90. Yeah. Okay. So you see the longitudinal view of the vena cava, right? So it's very easy. If you want to see the short axis, come back to zero. Well, you can go to 180. Let's go to 180. But then you see aorta is now on the left side. So be careful about that because this is mirror image. So always avoid uh, angles which are close to 180 because then you will get confused. Yes. Yeah, come back to zero and you will see vena cava again. So now position the aorta in the center and now go to 90. And you will see it, I hope, in the longitudinal view. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, and that's a very important aspect. Uh, also, uh, in current uh, machines, we have so-called um, uh, orthogonal imaging. So we have a probe which allows you to see two planes at the one, at, at the one moment. So first is what you see on, on this screen, and the second is perpendicular. So you see two images at one time, and you save a lot of time during imaging. So here you see the blue and red sector that we saw before, and at the same time you see the uh, yellow-green sector on the side. Moreover, you can use the trackball to move this second sector right or left, and depending on the, new, the, on, on the angle you, you're using, you will see different structures. You steer it uh, to show something that you are interested in. So you see now superior vena cava that you were just uh, showing using 90 degrees angle is now visible by uh, tilting this crossing line of, the, of these views towards the superior vena cava. If I, go, if I go back to aorta, I will see long axis of the aorta. If I go to the pulmonary artery, I will see pulmonary artery. Very easy. But to start with, let's uh, just show the aorta in two views immediately uh, at the same time, and then you have those two images ready, okay? Now we switch off uh, this X-plane, not to disturb us, and then let's go slightly deeper. <laughs> 